Hello mga bata! My name is Ma'am Lara. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa proportion. Pero bago tayo pumunta sa proportion, balik-aralan natin ang ratio. Ang ratio ay pagkukumpara o paghahambing ng dalawang bilang na tumutukoy sa halaga ng unang bilang sa halaga ng ikalawang bilang. Halimbawa, may tatlong manok at apat na kambing si Mang Kanor sa kanyang bakuran. Ang ratio ng bilang ng manok sa kambing ay 3 is to 4. Antecedent refers to the first term of the quantity of the ratio. Consequent refers to the second quantity of the ratio. Kapag ang dalawang ratio ay equal, ito ay proportion. A proportion is a statement of equality between two ratios or fractions. A proportion can be written in two ways. Kung ang ratio ay may antecedent and consequent, ang proportion ay may means and extremes. Means refers to the inner numbers of the proportion. Extremes refers to the outside numbers of the proportion. So, based doon sa ating image, 3 is to 5 is equal to 6 is to 10. So, dalawang proseso yung gagawin natin. Yung isa ay naka-fraction form, yung isa ay naka-colon form. So, kapag ang given natin ay ginawa nating fraction form, cross multiplication ang gagawin. So, 3 times 10 is equal to 6 times 5. So, 3 times 10 is 30. Equal 6 times 5 is 30. So, 30 is equal to 30. So, it means 3 is to 5 is proportion to 6 is to 10. So, lagi nating tandaan na kapag sinabi natin proportion, 2 ratios are equal. So, paano kapag colon naman yung ginamit natin? So, gagawin natin yung means and extremes. So, same lang din yung gagawin. Nimultiply natin. 5 times 6 is equal to 3 times 10. So, 5 times 6 is 30. 3 times 10 is 30. Next, tell whether the ratios form a proportion. So, dalawa ulit ang gagawin natin, isang naka-fraction form at naka-colon form. So, tandaan kapag naka-fraction form, cross multiplication. So, 6 times 7 is equal to 3 times 14. 6 times 7 is equal to 42. 3 times 14 is equal to 42. So, 6 is to 14 is equal to 3 is to 7. They are proportion. Next, number 2. 6 is to 11 equals 9 is to 16. So, means and extremes. So, 11 times 9 equals 6 times 16. So, 11 times 9 is 99. Is equal to 6 times 16 is 96. So, 6 is to 11 is not equal or not proportion to 9 is to 16. Okay, let's practice. Determine whether each is a proportion or not. So, number 1. 2 is to 3 equals 4 is to 6. So, kapag naka-fraction form, cross-multiply. So, 2 times 6 equals 3 times 4. So, 12 equals 12. So, they are proportion. Next, 4 is to 5 equals 7 is to 8. So, 4 times 8 equals 5 times 7. 4 times 8 is 32 equals 5 times 7 is 30. So, they are not proportion. Next, 3 is to 7 equals 4 is to 9. So, kung kaya nyo ng hindi gumawa ng gantong solution, 
kaya nyo i-mental, go for it. So, 3 times 9 is 27. Equals 7 times 4 is 28. So, they are not propor proportion. Next, 2 times 42 equals 3 times 28. So, 3 times 42 is 84. 3 times 28 is 84. And then, the last one is 12 is to 15 equals 4 is to 5. So, means and extremes. So, 15 times 4 equals 12 times 5. So, 12, 15 times 4 is 60. 12 times 5 is 60. So, they are proportion. Okay, next. So, paano naman kapag nawawala yung isang value. So, same procedure lang din yung gagawin. So, kapag naka-fraction form siya, cross-multiplication, okay, 6 times n. Kapag ang number, minultiply natin sa letter, magiging 6n. So, itatabi lang natin sila. Ibig sabihin, kapag yung number, katabi ni letter, ibig sabihin, multiplication. Equals 9 times 8, 72. So, gawin natin 6 times n is equal to 9 times 8. So, 6 times n is equal to 6n. Magkatabi lang sila. Then, 9 times 8 is 72. So, kailangan natin makuha yung value ng n. So, i-divide natin sila both sides by 6. So, para mawala si 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Kapag 1 at katabi ni letter, hindi na natin sinusulat. So, understood na may 1 dito sa gilid. So, 6 divided by 6 is 1. So, matitira si N. 72 divided by 6 is 12. So, ang value natin ng N is 12. So, let's check. Kapag nag-checking tayo, yung value ng N, ipapat lang natin doon sa Pwesto niya. So, 6 is to 9 equals 8 is to 12. So, 6 times 12 is 72 equals 9 times 8 is 72. So, the value for N is 12. Next. Kapag naka-colon form naman, means and extremes. So, same lang ng ginagawa natin kanina. So, 4 times 6 equals 8 times n. So, 4 times 6 is 24 equals 8 times n is 8n. So, kailangan natin ng value ng n. Kaya, i-divide natin siya both sides by 8. Para mawala si 8 doon sa tabi ni n. So, 8 divided by 8 is 1. So, matitira si n. 24 divided by 8 is 3. So, the value for n is 3. Okay, let's check. So, palitan natin yung value ng n ng 3. 3 is to 4 equals 6 is to 8. So, means and extremes. So, 4 times 6 equals 3 times 8. So, 4 times 6 is 24. 8 times 3 is 24. So, the value for n is 3. Okay, next, examples. Find the missing value. So, 27 is to n equals 9 is to 5. Cross multiply. 27 times 5 equals 9 times n. So, 27 times 5, 135 equals 9n. So, para mawala si 9 sa tabi ni n, divide both sides by 9. So, n is equal to 15. So, checking. Palitan natin ng value si n, which is 15. So, 27 over 15 equals 9 
over 5. Then, cross multiply. 27 times 5 is 135. 15 times 9 is 135. So, the value for n is 15. So, kapag dito naman sa checking, hindi nag-equal yung sagot nyo, it means the value for n is not correct. So, kailangan nyo balikan yung umpisa. So, kailangan, kapag may value na tayo ng n, mag-equal ang ating check-in. So, next, 39 is to 2 equals n is to 4. So, i-shortcut na natin. So, 39 times 4 is 156. 2 times n is equal to 2n. So, divide both sides by 2. So, n is equal to 78. Okay, check. 39 over 2 or 39 is to 2 equals to 78 over 4. So, 39 times 4 is 156 equals 78 times 2 is 156. So, last one is 1.4 is to 1.05 is equal to 4 is to n. So, same lang yung gagawin. Pinagkaiba lang nito sa dalawang given. Naka-colon form and siya ay in decimal form. Decimal number. So, 105, 1.05 times 4 is equal to 1.4 n. So, 4.20 is equal to 1.4 N. So, para ma-alist si 1.4 at matira si N, divide both sides by 1.4. So, N is equal to 3. N is equal to 3. So, check. 1.4 equals... 1.4 is to 1.05. 4 is to 3. So, means and extremes. So, mapapansin nyo dito sa ginawa ko. Kanina, yung means ko, pataas. Basta as long as yung means natin, yung nasa loob, and then yung ating extreme ang nasa labas. So, 1.5. 1 and 500 times 4 equals 1.4. 1 and 4 tenths times 3. So, 4.20 or 4.4 4 and 2 tenths is equal to 4 and 2 tenths. So, the value for n is 3. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and God bless. Bye!